Now, there isn't a lot of hardware I own which I can particularly say I'm fond of. But this is one piece of hardware that I've owned for a while. I finally got it working that I do actually like a lot. This is my PS2 Model 80. From the outside, it's just a regular Model 80. On the inside, it's again looking like a, a regular Model 80. But it's what it runs is that's so special. This system runs IBM's variant of Unix called AIX version 1.3 which was one of the very few versions available that worked on an Intel processor and not IBM's own power and pre-powered type CPUs. Now, again, everything is normal about this system, with the exception I'm missing one of the front bezels here, but I'm working on replacing that. Um, the floppy drive has been recapped, so it does work. Um, keyboard, mouse, monitor, that's all IBM there. Nothing really all that special. And again, we'll open it up and just put that off to the side. And inside, what we have going on is that to make AIX work on this system, two major things are required. Actually, there's three major things that are required. One, you can just barely see it in the back there, there is a Cyrix Math coprocessor. Two, a decent sized hard drive. In my case here, I have, um, I believe it's a 700 megabyte, yes it was, yes, 700 megabyte, five and a quarter inch full height SCSI hard drive here. And that connects into the SCSI controller, which is just down there. Um, and third and most importantly, is that it needs RAM. Now, the Model 80 uses these strange proprietary memory cards, and this is one of them I have right in here. And this is only four megabytes. Now I can most assuredly tell you that installing AIX with only four megabytes is very painful and not recommended. If you're gonna use something like AIX Windows, I even further recommend get more RAM. And there is more RAM installed. At the very bottom here is this one AST micro channel card. It gives me a serial and a parallel port extra, but it also gives me the ability to stuff an additional eight megs of RAM. This is a very temperamental card. While I know the RAM works and the system will post fine with the card, if you do any advanced te memory tests, it will fail the memory on the card. And if you use a lot of memory in AIX, the system will crash and panic. It seems to do it a lot when you're compiling. The other card you see installed here, first off, above the AST card is a token ring card, just for the fact it's a token ring card in IBM. And above that we have the 3Com Etherlink MC network card. At the very top here, I think it just has a label, because it's upside down, this is the multi-port 2. What this did is that it gave you the options of either an X.25 interface, or as I have over here, eight additional serial ports, which you could use with AIX to run multiple terminals. I believe it's also, because it contains a 186, it's also a programmable board. So there's a couple other things you can do with it. I don't know anything else about this board. There is a program package available for AIX that handles X.25, but the only version I know that exists right now has disk one and disk two is the incorrect image. So we don't know how to install that package at all. Now to make networking work on this because well, I'm in my living room and I don't have any other wired connections available. I decided to use wireless. Linksys made this cool little adapter here for gaming. And basically you turned off your, all of your encryption. You plug this in you set the channel and it connects. This then gives you category five. The back of my Etherlink MC here is BNC. So I have an adapter here which goes from 10 base T to 10 base two coaxial and it seems to work. Um, also IBM, this SCSI card uses IBM's rather ridiculous 
SCSI connector. So, we can get this terminator off. And nothing else uses this kind of connector. Nothing. It looks like um, wide SCSI. It's not. So, I don't suspect I'll be hanging anything off of it unless I find an adapter sometime soon. Otherwise, it uses regular VGA and PS2. And, um, okay, let's put this thing back together and uh, turn it on. Okay, I'm just going to hope you can hear me from over here. But, uh, system's back together. We've got the camera focused here on the monitor. So, let's turn the system on. And it's a single switch. And being a Mac store and all, I'd expect the hardware to be pretty loud, but it's actually kind of kind of quiet. And like I said, the AST card here, even though there's something wrong with it, goes to the memory count. 12 megs, nothing wrong. Go. Pops over to this screen. Gives me this option here. I can toggle out of automatic boot. Not if I want, I can boot from a floppy. Hard disk, of course. Ethernet for token ring. I can set my language, monitor type, time, so on and so forth. But I can boot to DOS if I want. I'm just going to do that right here quickly. Because before I installed AIX, I left a 20 megabyte partition for you to install DOS with. Now, there is a merge program that comes with uh, AIX, but it's exclusively for DOS version 5. If you have 502 or 6 or whatever, it won't work. It, specifically needs the three low density flop uh, three and a half inch floppy disks that make up the PC DOS version 5 that you would to do the merge properly. Anyway, so it boots up to the shell here and let me close out of that. And there's really nothing I have on this DOS partition right now besides um, just Norton and that's all there is. But anyways we'll reboot. Let it quickly run through post again here and let it boot. There's our screen again. And we'll leave it alone. And for some reason, um, AIX likes using green care uh, green text. It sees the token ring card, it realizes there's a lot of RAM, 2,361 pages, and starts bringing everything up with the file system checks first. That clock is wrong, there is a Y2K bug. It's not 1970, it's just not translating from the RTC properly. Now it's waking up the token ring, even though there isn't anything attached to it, so there shouldn't be any errors. It'll just bring it up alive. And there it goes. Now it brings up the Ethernet, and the IP, and I'll talk about that in a couple minutes here. And there we go, we have our login. I'm just going to log in as root. And now I'm going to make an admission right here and now. I am a hardware person. When it comes to software, especially when it comes to operating systems, I know 
just about nothing because there are a lot of different operating systems out there. There's things will change between versions. I it terrifies me. So when it comes to configuring Unix, let alone AIX, I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to computer. It's a Unix system. I don't know how to use this. Anyways, I'm logged in. I have gotten the Ethernet working. And let me get back to that. So, for example, if I were to... ping my router, there we go. So I get a response back, not a problem. Now, like I said, it's all set up, routed and all that I believe is all set. So it can talk to other systems. I have an IP address, the router can see my IP address in use, but I can't ping the system back. As well as if I were to ping An outside, an outside URL, Google for example, the network is unreachable, so there's nothing I can do. And I gotta wait here, sorry. Nope, just quit it, there we go. So there's a problem with the networking I'm working on there. The second thing is that AIX has a Windows system, and when you install AIX, you do have the option. Now I didn't realize when you install AIX is that there's three different Windows systems that you can get. So I all installed all three at the same time. What did that do? Well, let's start X. There you go. I'm not entirely sure if it's just because this is a very primitive version of the X Windows system, or it's just that I've broken something because I've installed all three Windows systems. But right now, I just have the one shell. I can TWM. I've forgotten what the, what the long name is for that. This is all I have. I can show an icon manager, but it just shows me that there. Can I do anything with it? I can move it around. So what I want to do here is I'm going to, there's also these artifacts that are showing up here. I'm assuming this is more a, a glitch with the video mode I have set. I think it's just running at 640 by 480, which is kind of sad for a 21 inch monitor. Um, whoops, wrong button. Can I, there we go. I'm just going to exit, and that actually closes the window manager, so I'm stuck with this terminal here. I can't move it, I got the gray screen behind. And I want to start the Motif Window Manager, so MWM. And that starts up Motif. The only reason I'm doing this is that if I were, now that I have Motif running, I can't do anything in this terminal window. And from the last Windows system, I couldn't open another console. So, which button is it? There it is. Right click. And I want a new window. That's all I want for here. It's just another window. I'm just going to resize this here for a bit. Now I'm going to close this one here. Yes, I want out of it. And the reason I want out of Motif is because I want the AIX window system. So, AIX. Uh, hold on a second here, what have I done? Oh, right, okay. I got it now. AIXWM. There we go. And that pulls up the AIX window manager. Surprise. Now that I have this, I have, whoops, I have this ability to run some sort of window manager. And, okay, so that's running, so I can close that. And becomes a little button over here. We'll move that. And where was I again? First off, I completely. Can I resize this, please? Yes. There we go. Um. Clean 
this up a little tiny bit here. And I do have a bunch of demos that I've already installed. This is again another one of the LPP, so I'm just gonna pop up one or two here because we're running on a 386. And Just pull up a maze here and launch the maze. So boom, and it gives me this. And it will just start solving them for me, it seems. There we go. Can I close this? There. I don't yet know how to close. I'm noticing there's no close buttons here or anything. Again, I'm not sure if this is, well, it's AIX Windows or if I'm actually missing elements. Which, by the way, I'll pull up, uh, yeah, one second here. I'm just going to run these in the corner here, and then we'll move on to my next problem. What's up, I just kind of that over there. Oh wait, I'm running exercise. Can I do uh Okay, screw it. Screw it, screw it. Where was I? Damn it. Alright. Uh the other thing is now I do have X desktop. So DT, so I'll fire that up. And let's just to pop it up so boop. And that gives us the AIX Windows desktop. And I'm not sure if I've broken it or not. Okay, I can make an icon. Can I move it? Barely. So I have root waste supplies. I don't... There, let me just click on that. Now, I can move these around every time I click that. But I do have stuff like... I don't know what this does here. And that does nothing. I can't close these windows, plus it's almost impossible to see where the two windows start and end. So I'm kind of lost. Again, I need help figuring this out. No one I know right now is willing to help me with this. I went to one forum and they actually said Google it up, but good luck finding information on AIX 1.3 on Google. So, anyways, I'm just going to close this up here by uh, killing that. And we're just going to shut it down. Shutdown time has arrived. And the graphics has corrupted itself, but it has halted itself anyways. Anyways, everything else about AIX is, well, it's Unix. But it doesn't have Smith, it doesn't have a couple of the other features you find in the later versions. But this is AIX for you. I sure hope you enjoyed this.